Hi, I'm Chad from Chad DIY, and today we are using this X-Tool P2 laser cutter engraver to make this wonderful Christmas present. So let's get started. All right, we'll open up our X-Tool Creative Space software here. Once that opens up, we'll connect it wirelessly to the P2. All right, go up, connect, go to Wi-Fi. There it is. Okay, that beep, so we're ready to go. It should take an image. I already have my material set in there. So if you see image capturing, kind of just going to take a, a second here to, for everything to load up. All right, there we go. So I got my plywood in there. I'm using quarter inch birch. And now let's uh, upload our file. So it's gonna say the image is too large to display. So when you get these files, usually they're kind of side by side with the lettering and then you got the circle. So they're kind of too big to fill the plate on the original size. So you can kind of choose the original size, which is gonna be huge. Um, I'm just gonna choose scale it because we're gonna scale it anyways. All right, so here we have our circle and we have our Merry Christmas thing. And we have some instructional stuff. So I'm gonna kinda split this up here, I think. Let's get that circle all the way. We're gonna just kinda delete all this lettering here. And move that circle. Now that's, I kinda like the size of this. Maybe we can go a little larger, but I don't wanna just, I don't wanna just make that circle bigger without making that Merry Christmas bigger as well. So let's get that circle all the way. We're gonna, I think this is boxed up here actually. Let's get that box out of the way. We're gonna delete that. All right, now we're gonna group this Merry Christmas together. And we're gonna bring it over. Actually let's, and we're gonna kinda, we're gonna kinda center this stuff up here. And now using the arrow shift keys, you can do micro adjustments, I like to call. So kind of send that up. And we don't have to be super precise here. I just want to kind of group this together because now we're going to resize it. And I want the circle and the lettering to resize at the, at the same scale. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to group this whole thing together now. All right, so now we're grouped. So now when you move it, it's all together. Now I'm going to kind of try to use as much of the plywood as possible, so I'm not really concerned about exactly how big this is. Um, we're getting close, you can see how big it is up there, but I'm just, whether it's exactly 12 inches or 11 and a half, I, to me it doesn't, I don't know, it's not, that's not super crucial, but we're just going to kind of use as much plywood as we can. And yeah, it looks like we're going to be able to do a little over 11 and a half inches for this sheet of plywood. All right, so I'm good with the size here. Now I'm gonna go to on group. And I'm gonna, let's try to get this, just the circle part out of there. There we go. Kind of shove that off to the side. And now I'm gonna, the, this first sheet, I'm just gonna cut the circle. So right now, I want to make sure that's still grouped. But I'm actually going to just delete that. And I'm going to just drag this over. And now we're going to be able to cut out the circle. Now, if I go to undo a few times, I'm going to be able to get that lettering right back. But let's set this up to just cut this circle. We're going to do, we're going to go to cut. Let's do 100% power. This I think I can do 13, it's quarter inch material. That should be all right. And yeah, let's, uh, let's make some cuts here. Quit, we'll do a measure here. It's machines kind of auto adjusting the, or you know, it's taking the measurement for what thickness material you have. Oh, sorry, whoops, I forgot to actually <laughs> click it there. And it is measured. All right, now we can make our cut.
So we do have a perfectly cut circle all out. Now we're gonna go into lettering. So we're gonna jump back to that software. And like I said before, we deleted that Merry Christmas to get this circle first. There's probably other ways to do it, but this is the way I like to do it. I'm gonna just kind of undo to the back step. We're gonna delete the circle part and then we're gonna run the Merry Christmas. So let's do that. All right, jumping back in our software here. 100, I did 13, I think that was maybe a little slow. Yeah, let's try 16 on this. I think that should be fine. We don't, I did place new material in the P2. Let's refresh that image so we know how to line up this Christmas. So refresh an image. And there we go. So I think this was, this little part, there we go. All right, refresh is successful. It's gonna take a second there. All right, so we're just gonna kind of center that up in there. Let's go to process and we'll cut this part out now. So now it's kind of the fun part. We're gonna paint this all. I'm gonna paint the top kind of half the section. I'm gonna stain the bottom section. And then I'm gonna paint all the lettering white. Now a little tip would be to paint the whole plywood white before you actually cut it out. Could have done that, would have saved a lot of time. But sometimes this is kind of just fun to paint all the letters as well. So let's get into that. So I do have my letters all painted white. I did half of the bottom in a dark walnut stain. Now I'm gonna paint the top of the circle. I'm gonna do a black. I'm gonna let it dry. And then I'm gonna take a little wire and make little tiny white dots. It's gonna kind of look like stars. We'll, we'll see how that works. So let's do that next. All right, we are ready for glue up. So I have my circle all done. I got the dark walnut stain all dried, the black with the little white speckles for the stars. So I'm gonna kind of lay it out. What I'm using is this clear gel tacky glue. And first I kind of like to 
lay out how I'm gonna have everything and then I'm gonna kind of take it off one piece at a time, glue it up, put it back on and assemble it that way. So let's get started. So this Xtool P2 really is an amazing machine. I know a lot of videos are focused on the business side of this thing, which it certainly can do. A lot of people, it's a high-end laser cutter, so they use it for business. But it also just makes wonderful Christmas presents. So to have the ability to just pop on Etsy, get some files, cut them out, and then paint them up and just do a handcrafted gift, that really means a lot to the people in your life. So if you do have any questions on this project or the Xtool P2, leave them in that comment section below. I also provide my affiliate link for this machine. If you do decide to buy one of these or any Xtool laser cutter, I'll provide that affiliate link. You can use it, save some money. Really helps load the channel and I do appreciate it. So as always, I'm Chad from Chad DIY and we'll see you on the next one.